Hello, Gemini. I missed you guys. Hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Keeping warm. It's been a crazy winter with weather-wise. Uh, Gemini, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Gemini. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini in their life and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Gemini in their life and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Gemini. Somebody wants to approach you with emotional offer. Wow. Whoever it is views you as empress energy, whether you're male or female, meaning you are of quality. You are a catch in a relationship. Somebody very much emotionally attached to you. Ooh, somebody loves you deeply. Yeah, King of Cups. Ooh, but they're hiding it from you. Oh, they think they're hiding it. They think it's a secret, but you're aware that this person loves you. Yeah, whoever it is. Wow, look at this. Two people are showing up here, actually. Uh, somebody that loves you is not telling you not expressing it to you and somebody else that wants to offer you uh, some kind of emotional gesture offer of appreciation something emotional emotions emotions but these emotions here from this person here are being hidden from you uh, they're not really showing telling you yet how they feel about you wow <clears throat> Gemini, right now you're concentrating on yourself. You feel drained by some people in your life. Yeah, by certain events happening around you. Too many demands from different people. Too many responsibilities. You feel tired. You feel exhausted. You need a long time. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini in their life. And how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is you needing a long time. Yeah, you really do need a long time away from, yeah. Look at this, there's too much drama. People arguing, whether it's at work, um, in your neighborhood, circle of friends, or in the family. This is you feeling drained by some people. It looks like some people would try to, or maybe already did, uh, they're trying to involve you in their drama. Be wise. Don't get involved in other people's dramatics. Yeah, let them balance that karma between themselves. Don't let them drag you into the gossip circles. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Yeah. Yeah, you see? More drama showing up here for you. Who are the, all these people? Dramatics, chaos, gossiping, arguing, fighting. Yeah. Stay away from this kind of drama between people. Don't let them drag you into the gossip circles. Don't take sides. <clears throat> yeah. The soulmate that you're not with right now doesn't communicate with you effectively. You feel betrayed by them. Yeah. Yeah, they're showing up here as very detached emotionally. Showing us very aloof emotionally, but they feel a lot of emotions. You're going to see the answer, what you need to do, how you need to handle this challenging situation here. The sun is showing up here. You're going to see what you need to do to get out of this craziness over here. The soulmate that you're letting go of for now at least feels a lot of guilt, regret for losing you. Whoever these people are in your life that are creating so much drama, are really affecting you negatively emotionally. They're draining your energy. 
and it's affecting your sleep yeah that's not good too much stress from other people wow <clears throat> you don't have much respect for this person that you're letting go of yeah because this is how you view them wishy-washy not communicating not expressing emotions not making a solid commitment that you can believe in yeah and you have very high standards for yourself so yeah you're gonna not only hold yourself to those high standards but also people in your life yeah and you feel they're not meeting you halfway gemini <clears throat> a lot of you are dealing with aquarius you know please show us Hmm. And Leo popping up here. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini and how is Gemini currently doing? Yeah, you see, again, you feel so beat up by some of these people in your life. Drained, exhausted. Don't let people drain you with their drama. Do not get involved. Tell them you, are, you want to stay neutral and not get involved because it's not good for you. It's draining you. It's causing you too much unnecessary stress. Oh, yeah. So somebody already backstabbed you, betrayed you in this situation. Whoever it is, you feel heartbroken. You see this? This is you. This is the worst card in the whole deck. Three of swords. You feel heartbroken. You feel devastated. You feel betrayed. Yeah. By some people. You know who they are. Yeah, you know who they are, whether it's in your family or at work, neighborhood, circle of friends, your soulmate. You know who they are. Yeah, you already told them off. Okay. You already told them what time it is. You stood up for yourself and you're going to have to stand up for yourself again. Yeah, this is you protecting your heart, holding that sword, pointing to, uh, upwards, ready to tell them off, tell them what time it is and not just sit there, take it from them. <clears throat> yeah you're waiting for the right time so it you have experience with these people so obviously they are close to you uh, whether you work with them or they are in your family and you already know how they are it's like you are anticipating more drama from them and you're preparing them yourself to tell them off wow gemini you're dealing with some toxic people yeah I left all of my toxic relatives and fake friends behind. Yeah, I, I don't tolerate that kind of energy. Uh, I don't deserve it. So I walk away from toxic people. I would rather be alone, spend time in nature than be around toxic people who drain me, manipulate me, take from me, lie to me, deceive me. No, thank you. Yeah. No, I don't allow that. Mm -mm. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini that Gemini is letting go of for now. And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? And how's the soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? Hmm. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look how depressed they are. They don't feel worthy of you. This is them heartbroken yeah you see so this person loves you deeply but you see they see your cup your cup of love broken meaning they feel you're done with them that it's over that they lost you they feel a lot of guilt regret heartbreak over losing you they fault themselves for losing you a lot of you are dealing with a scorpio but they could be any sign really they want to reconcile with you but they scared it's too late they're so scared that you made up your mind already Look how desperately they want to reconcile with you. They really do. Yeah, new beginning. But hmm, I want a lot of things, but I'm not going to get them. They need to have more than just wish. They need to prove themselves to you through consistent actions that you can believe in, trust. They need to earn your trust and respect again, right? Yeah, they're waiting for the right time. This person is not able to let you go. A lot of you are dealing with Pisces and Aries. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini. Yeah, you see? They're looking at themselves more objectively. Thanks to you, they're looking more objectively at their life and their behavior and how they relate to other people. They're waiting for the right time. Sagittarius popping up here. 
they're spying on you. So this is a spycraft card, the way it's painted. They're looking here at you like a fox, sneaky fox showing up here, trying to figure out what you're up to, whether you're going to cool off, reach out to them. <clears throat> oh, who is this new soulmate popping up here for you? New person entering your life. This person is concerned that if they wait too long, you're going to be with somebody else because you are of quality, Gemini. Yeah. New soulmate. I love King of Wands energy. One of my favorite kings. So this new soulmate is showing up as mature marriage material. Yeah. Someone of quality. They want so badly to communicate with you, the person that wants to come back to you, but they're so scared of rejection. You see this? They needed to lose you to realize your worth value, how much you mean to them. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. This means apologies, so they know they messed up big time and they need to make amends with you. This means apologies, gifts, peace offerings, celebrations. Yeah, look, the judgment is showing up twice. This person wants to reconcile with you before you have a chance of uh, having a relationship with somebody else. They're so concerned that you're going to be with somebody else. But if they rush it, they're going to fail because they need to be ready to be consistent in your life. Not to repeat the same mistakes, right? They need to earn your trust and respect. Um, hmm. You know, let's be show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini. <clears throat> yeah, you are very important to this person. They're so scared that it's over, that it's too late. Yeah, look how much they miss you. Loving you, missing you, reminiscing of you, thinking of you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. They're showing up here as emperor. This person is very stubborn, set in their ways. They don't like to apologize. They don't like to admit to their mistakes. They don't like to initiate communication. They don't like to show emotional vulnerability. They don't listen to your concerns. <coughs> they have a lot of pride. <clears throat> that, all that's going to have to change if they want you back in their life. Yeah. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about both soulmates since they both showed up. The one that wants to come back for communication clarity that just showed up <clears throat> as emperor and the new soulmate entering your life that showed up as king of wands. One of my favorite kings, by the way. So first, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long-term then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the king of one's energy, New chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships. Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Gemini, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.